Good morning students. Good, Good morning, morning ma'am. Today we'll play an interesting game. I will try to tell you about a thing using hand gestures. And you have to guess what I'm hinting at. Okay? Yes, yes ma'am. A book. Right. A bird. Absolutely correct. Now tell me this. A bull. Bravo. All my students are so smart. You know, it is slightly more difficult to talk through actions and gestures. The game we played today helped us understand how can we talk without using words. This is difficult but not impossible. Have you heard of sign language? Yes, ma'am. My distant cousin Rani is hearing and speech impaired. Whenever we go to meet her, we have to communicate through actions. This is difficult, but her whole family knows sign language. Rani also tries to read our lips to guess what we are saying. Thanks for telling us about Rani Vijay. And you are right. There are a lot of children who cannot speak or hear. Like all of you, they also go to school and learn through sign language. They use expressions and hand gestures to communicate their thought and feelings to others. There is one more place where hands and expressions or mudras and bhavs are used in dance. If you've ever seen classical dances like Kathak or Bharatanatyam, then you would have noticed that the dancers use a variety of mudras to narrate mythological stories. Observe the pictures of a few mudras now. This mudra depicts a peacock. This one, a bird. And this one, a mouse. Think of one more classical dance. Kathakali. Have you all ever heard of this dance form? Yes, ma'am. This dance form is counted among the most prominent classical dances of Kerala. You're right, Shreya. The most fascinating thing about this dance form is the abhinay or the ability to narrate a story through facial expressions. Look at these pictures of Kathakali dances. Aren't they amazing? What do you notice in this expression? Anger. Now tell me, if I say my doll is lost, won't you find it odd? Our faces mirror our feelings. A toddler who cannot yet form words is able to say so much using expressions and hand gestures. Now, I will tell you about some people. You have to guess the expression on their faces. Pooja was gifted a new frock today. What would be her facial expressions? Neeta's father found out that she hasn't completed her homework. Neeta's father would have what kind of facial expression? Vinay has punctured the tire of his new cycle. How will Vinay show his feelings on his face? Well done students! There are many ways of communicating our thoughts and feelings. Do you know, there are some books which don't have words but only pictures. We can form a story looking at these pictures. Come on, let's try this. I will keep a picture in front of you and you have to narrate what's happening in it. There is a crow in this picture. The crow is thirsty. The crow sees a pitcher. He becomes happy. The pitcher has very little water. The crow drops little pebbles in the pitcher. 
the water level rises. The thirsty crow gulps down water to his heart's content. Very nice. I hope you enjoyed today's class. Today we learned that there are many ways of communicating without using words. We talked through actions and tried to understand how people who are hearing and speech impaired communicate. We learned how stories are narrated in classical dances using facial expressions and hand gestures. Then we focused on the importance of expressions and finally made a story by reading pictures. Goodbye students. See you in the next class.